News. SB 2344 also adds language to decriminalize marijuana use for medical purposes. Lawmakers say that was not included in the voter-approved initiative. After the 2016 election, home loan interest rates increased. Alexis Arthur is in Minot to tell us what that means for home buyers. Before the election, interest rates were at 3.75%. Since then, it's hiked up a half percent to 4.25. With these increasing rates, realtors are taking an even closer look at the situation and how the housing market could be affected in the short term and the long term. This time to lock in that 30-year guaranteed loan while the interest rates are still low. They're historically low still. There was a time when interest rates were in the double digits. I remember when we had double digit interest okay since then interest rates have been quite low but recently we've seen them start to hike back up they've indicated if things keep trending the way it is uh, now and the stock market keeps high they're going to bump it again another because yeah, that's their way of controlling uh, the market and inflation home loan interest rates have seen about half a percent increase but there are predictions that it could continue to rise the fact that the feds are talking about increasing it on a regular basis is going to encourage more people to buy now before it goes too high blake crabseth from watney realtors sees people buying homes a lot more in the short term if they only raise it a half a point every time we're still have some very good interest rates right now if it continues to rise the long term could become a concern we're concerned as an industry, too, if it gets too high, it could slow the market. I think as long as uh, it's below six or five, I mean, I'm not going to get too concerned until it starts getting higher. We'll have to wait and see just how much the interest rates will increase. But until then... You still can take advantage of uh, low interest rates. Crabseth added that a percent or even half a percent does make a difference in people's wallets. If you do have any questions about interest rates or refinancing, contact your local banker. All right. Thanks, Alexis. There's more ahead on KX News. I took a $70,000 pay cut.